It's only a little something But why does it feel like it's true something We just vibe and we just crazy, baby So hi YouTube, it's Curly so Victoria Back with another video on what I eat in a day This is just simply a um, green smoothie that I'm going to make I had to finish off the spinach because it's going to expire in like two or three days So I wanted to finish it off And these are green apples that I have cut up I'm going to put my ice cubes that I have already gotten that I'm going to actually rinse off because I always rinse off my ice that comes straight out of the freezer. And I'm going to put just a few cubes into my blender um, because I want my smoothie to be cold. I am going to also end up putting this in the freezer once it's finished being blended just for a little bit. And um, then I'm going to take it out once it gets like more of a chill and I'm going to proceed to drink it. So basically this is spinach and green apple as you guys can see green apple this apple is my last apple of the mohicans and it is time to use up that apple too because before you know it in about a week's time that apple will no longer be any good so between the spinach and between the apple these are both due to go bad by the end of the week so i'm going to mix all of this in and guys you have to remember it's not always about the flavor sometimes it's simply about you know, you don't always get the best flavor with what's good for you, but it's good for you. You know, like spinach is rich, rich in iron and it has vitamins in it. It has a lot of good things that you need in your body. So for me, when I don't feel like eating a salad or I don't feel like doing something like that, the best way for me to down this stuff is to drink it in a smoothie. That is what's best for me. So I'm going to just add all of this. Sometimes I cook spinach over my food too, like my pasta. Since I don't eat meat, um, it's good to put into your pasta and just have like a pasta spinach salad. Um, a pasta spinach um, meal instead. So then the next thing I'm going to do, which I did a um, how-to video on how I make my pasta too. And I'm going to just close this up. i got to make sure the top is all the way on, so... Forgive me. I'm holding the camera with my hand, so sorry if I covered the lens. This how-to video is going to be very, very short. But I basically have everything in here. As you can see, my ice cubes are on the bottom. My apples. So this is what it, the concoction looks like. Okay. Got a mixture of apples. And I have a mixture of spinach. And that is all that's going to be in here. So then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to grab my individual smoothie maker and I'm going to take this put it in now I'm noticing that the problem that I'm probably having is because I didn't put any um, milk in here which I probably should I wasn't trying to put any form of milk in here today just because I didn't want to have any milk. But I'm going to set the camera up. So right now, you guys, I don't know what you can see. But I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to add just a little bit of milk just to give the consistency some type of flow. Um, I have almond milk. Um, I have a corner of almond milk left. I'll pour a little bit of almond milk. I don't want to pour much because I don't want this to be too sweet. But I just wanted to have a consistency of movement. So I've put a little bit of almond milk in there. Remember, there's ice cubes in there. So that should water down my almond milk. And I'm going to now proceed to blend this. It'll blend more smoothly now that I have the almond milk in there. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... get this thing going okay I'm just gonna sh shake it up because something's getting caught up being stubborn Sometimes it's much easier, but some fruits or some vegetables take a little bit longer to cut up. So. Again, we're just going to 
going to keep blending. smoothie um like i said sometimes the consistency is different for every drink that i make that is just that just so happens to be the consistency of this one um i am not using my camera my camera is actually right here and it is dead so i am going to go ahead and proceed with this video while i'm using my phone so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take a mason jar which is already cleaned out because i have already washed my mason jars and i'm going to fill this jar up again i'm going to open which oster I'm not sponsored by them, but that's a really good brand. As you guys seen the thing in my hand, the smoothie container. This is really good for an individual cup. Um, this is not going to be a full smoothie. It's going to be more like a half of a glass, which is fine. Maybe even less than half a glass. It's just I wanted to grind up those um, piece, uh, leftover fruits. Uh, grind up the leftover apple and grind up spinach that was left over so it's not that much but again I'm just going to I'm gonna finish this off so again I'm gonna set down the camera I know you guys are like how many times are you gonna set that camera down I'm gonna set it down again because now I want to take like a spoon or something to get the excess even a knife will do I just want to get the excess out everything I can because I want to work this make this work for me so I need to get all of my nutrients I need to get all of that out of here I drink water today but of course I try to aim for eight glasses of water in a day I'm probably on two so I'm a little bit behind I had another beverage today so I'm gonna drink this smoothie I'm gonna work out in just a little bit um, after I finish this and then I'm getting things all over the place and I'm gonna clean this up in just one second so no worries however I am going to you guys can see I've just like spilled it I'm gonna clean that up in just a bit I'm gonna take another I'm gonna take a straw if I could get to my straw jar, that would be wonderful. Take a straw. Since we're green, we're going to go green. And this is my smoothie, and I'm going to taste it. Mm -mm -mm. It's not all that yummy, not going to lie. Um, You know, a lot of people make smoothies, and they say, oh, it's so yummy. No, it's not that yummy. I didn't add that many different fruits kind of got a sweeter taste to it but there is no added sugar there's nothing this is just spinach and apple i'm going to finish this because i know it's good for me and i am going to be back with another video i'm going to get this cleaned up because this is a mess if you guys are not subscribed to my channel then subscribe to your girl's channel because we would love to have you tuned in to what goes on in the life of curly victoria and um let me know what you think of this video let me know have you guys had spinach and um uh green apple smoothie i mean this one looks good but if i were to add other fruits like pineapple berries and things like that it would give me a tartar taste which preferably i like a tartar taste more so in my smoothies rather than that sweet sweet taste um so i don't have all those fruits in here i do have frozen fruit in the freezer that do have that concoction but this right here is just finishing off what we have in the refrigerator so that is that i still have some salad in the refrigerator that i need to eat probably i'll eat a big salad tonight for dinner um after I eat this, maybe like in a couple hours, I'll eat a big salad and I'm going to finish off some of that lettuce that I have or salad rather that I have in the refrigerator that needs to go because that's also going to expire in the next few days. So if you guys are produce shoppers, then you already know that produce does not last forever. When you get it, you need to know what you're making and you need to get with it real quick. The moment you think, oh, let me just keep it in there until I can figure out a recipe, it's already gone bad. So if you are a produce shopper, then you know that things have to go quickly and you want to purchase based on what you know you're going to consume by the end date or it will be expired and you will find yourself throwing out spinach because you never even opened the container because it expired in like five days. So 
Again, guys, when you get to places like this where you're about to expire on some things and you don't want to eat them separate, whether you don't want to make a baby spinach salad or you don't want to make, uh, you don't want to eat a whole apple because you're just not in the mood, something like this, look at how it's blended. Look how small it's blended. Now, if I were to eat those things whole with salad dressing croutons or even just eat my apple whole, I would probably be full right after the snack. But this right here is like, okay, that's like not even half a glass. That's maybe like a fourth of my glass. So when I drink this, this is going to give me some nutrients. It's going to give me some vitamin K, some, you know, all of the things that I need um, that are in these fruits. It's going to give me iron. It's going to give me all those things. And I'm just getting just a little bit. Mind you, I'm getting that through other things that I'm eating as well. Um, I had a piece of fish today. Um, so, you know, different things like that. So again, guys, I'm not going to keep rambling because that is what I'm turning into right now, a little ramble queen. And go ahead and click subscribe click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed go follow me on instagram at carelisa victoria follow me on youtube at carelisa victoria and let me know if you guys like this video or if you have any suggestions as to what smoothies i should make or what videos i should make let me know which videos are the best videos that you like do you like when i post about lifestyle beauty business um all of them do you like the variety do you have a specific choice comment below so i can know your opinion thank you guys so much and have a great day until next time youtube it's only your love is something but why does it feel like it's true something?